Welcome to episode of No Script News, original seed coming at you live from my living room. Um, I don't have the lights on, obviously, as you can tell, so it's a little dim. I have, uh, I have an overcast coming from this big ass window, and uh, at least it's still a nice, you know, 70 degrees, 65 degrees here. Uh, my cousin called me from Oregon, telling me it's gonna be over a hundred, like 117. What? The shit is that man this is in texas but before we begin if you're anything like me and find yourself constantly on the go you can listen to potion sword run on spotify google and apple podcasts so what are you waiting for run now for those of you that don't know what no script news is i usually just uh, go over the news over the week and um you know talk about the stuff that i missed that was interesting but this week there wasn't really that much news going around the webs at least stuff that was you know didn't pop pop but there was a few things that i want to talk about and i have my trusty list here of stuff that i missed um the first thing that i came across was an article about sony baloney saying that they want to have more cross play games sony we know you are the one that charges for cross play games you only want cross gen because you want more money from developers <laughs> you're shady 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 uh, so anyways, Rim, Rim Giant, <laughs> Rim Giant, Jim Ryan came out and uh, said that he wants more cross-play games for uh, Sony. Um, I'm thinking the reason why he's saying that is because Ghost of Tsushima is going to come out on, <laughs> on uh, PC since only on PlayStation was recently removed from Ghost of Tsushima. Now I've talked to you guys about the PlayStation and their games being uh, cross-gen, going on PlayStation 4 and going on PC. Just like the Xbox, you know, uh, it's not a big deal. It's only a big deal if you're one of those who bought a PlayStation 5 thinking that Sony believes in generations, which they don't. They believe in money and they want to get it however they can. And now even charging cross-play. Who knows, maybe they get enough backlash and uh, they'll, you know, stop charging for cross-play. <laughs> I don't think they will. Speaking of stuff that's bony and baloney, Abandon is a game from Blue Point, Blue Point, Blue Box Studios, an indie developer that doesn't really have much of a presence online. Anyway, there's a big old brouhaha going about it, how he teased the game to be a Silent Hills game, and he might be working with Kojima. Now, I think this whole teaser experiment kind of blew up in his face because he came out and, um, addressed uh, the whole scandal saying that he doesn't work for Kojima and that he is working on the game Abandoned. And even though he is an indie studio, he has a lot of other studios outsourced working on the game. And there's a lot of studios that do that. I think Atomic Atomic Heart did that, where they had a lot of their uh, game built from outside studios. Um, and I think it's something that was regularly done in the industry because they make these games so damn big, they need a lot of people to work on them. And they rather, I think, contract that work out because it's cheaper than having to you know hire full-time employees i know you got this little you know scheming ways but anyways he came out and tried to clarify the air saying that he's not working with kojima but still the internet doesn't believe him because kojima is one of those uh, developers who tries to uh, fool the public even lie uh saying that he's not working on stuff just to kind of surprise us he did the same thing with death stranding when it when the first when the name was called phantom pain um, he, you know, he created a fake studio to talk about it. A lot of stuff like that going on. So as of right now, we don't necessarily know what the game is because he was supposed to release a uh, teaser trailer, but he came out and said that it's delayed. So, I mean, I really don't know what's going on with that game. I, wasn't, I really wasn't paying too much attention to it until he released his video trying to explain the whole situation. Um, I don't know what to think about this game. I hear that Kojima is working with Xbox. So why would he make be working with this indie studio or you know, I don't know. And why would he why would he be talking or, or working with this indie studio, especially with the uh, teaser trailer that was released, was just a stock uh, footage from the Unreal Engine. And Kojima doesn't even use the Unreal Engine; he has his own engine and stuff. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm thinking uh, there's a lot of uh, smoke here and no fire, and people are gonna be disappointed when they hear that Kojima is working with Xbox. Ah, but we'll see. We'll just put a pin on that one. Pin on that one. And speaking of stuff that is fake, Subway, their tuna has 0% tuna. It's not tuna. It was, um, it was, not, it was uh, tested 
through DNA and they found out that Subway tuna has no tuna. So I don't know what the hell people are eating. It's like, I don't know. If it's not even like byproducts of tuna, what is it, chicken? What are we eating? I don't even know what it is. Maybe some kind of soy product. But man, come on. You're thinking you're buying tuna and you're not. And their bread isn't even classified as bread because it has too much sugar. Why do you guys even eat at Subway? The, the, the meat isn't fresh. That's just all processed and stuff. Anyways. Uh, speaking of tuna. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He probably thought he was eating real tuna too, man. Nah, that's Subway tuna. Don't cry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, speaking of stuff that just doesn't add up, man. Um, I came across this on Twitter. This guy uh, pointed out how The Walking Dead Survivors, a Japanese um, mobile game, pretty much copied, pasted over this uh, Resident Evil promo. And you can tell, obviously, because the background is the same. But not only that, you can actually see, uh, who is it? Redfield's, is it, that was her name again? I can't think of her name, Red, Claire? You can actually see Claire's uh, gun in the background. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is fake uh, because they did a reverse image search on Google and they couldn't find it. However, the original poster is saying that this is coming straight from Instagram ads. And uh, he has a screenshot of that too. Now, I don't go on Instagram to even see the ads there. So maybe one of you guys out there who uh, are Instagram fanatics can, you know, confirm if this is true or not. But uh, it looks like it's real. Um, I don't put it past them because a lot of these, like, Chinese uh, companies um, don't necessarily have to follow copyright rules. And, you know, they kind of just do what they want to do. And I, you know, we see the copy ads before. Um, it's just kind of, I don't know, this is kind of like a big one, you know what I mean? Resident Evil. I don't think they're gonna take too lightly to it, but we'll see if it's actually a, a real one or not. Um, I don't know why this guy would lie, but then again, people lie. I mean, we have no tuna and fucking tuna and uh, Subway, so I mean, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of liars out there. Woo! Crazy shit, man. Now we're gonna move on to, uh, to some good news. None of that fake stuff that's going on. Uh, Xbox seems to be doing pretty good in Japan. The land of the rising sun. Um, I really don't know what it is too much. Um, I didn't really go into the article because, you know, Xbox is going to do what Xbox does in Japan. As long as it's selling well. I really think uh, uh, this generation, the reason why Japanese uh, gamers are flocking to the Xbox, uh, specifically the S, is because of the size. Um, it packs a lot of power for being such a small little console. You get next-gen games. More specifically is Game Pass, I believe. Um, and the push that Microsoft is doing to attract Japanese developers and Japanese games. Um, so far we have a, like a lot of Japanese games on Game Pass and on Xbox to, uh, to be frank. And it seems like they keep on, they keep on trying to, uh, to get those Japanese games on the service and so it seems they're catering to the Japanese market finally and they're finally starting to respond positively so that's good Microsoft has been doing pretty good this generation both in North America Europe and in the Asian market so just keep on keeping on Microsoft and I want to see those games jump over the pond so I can get you know better games on Game Pass more games on Game Pass different games on Game Pass speaking of Game Pass uh, Square Enix came out and said that they were very pleased with the success of Outriders thanks to Game Pass. And they really appreciated that by putting their game on Game Pass, they instantly got a huge, huge player base. And even with that player base though, people still bought the game, both on Xbox, PlayStation, and elsewhere. So putting the game on Game Pass didn't just... Uh, didn't suck away the sales from it. It actually propelled it and make it and making it more um, popular with you know the public. And now we have a player base that's actually quite large that can take advantage of future DLC, future you know, future game. Um, so anybody who says that Game Pass takes away from developers is factually wrong, and they're pretty much just talking stuff you know, talking crap out of their ass because they. <laughs> Uh, they're pretty much just talking crap because they're talking out of their ass because they, you know, they have no other narratives. 
I mean, even indie developers, uh, aggro crap games was not begging Microsoft to put uh, their game on Game Pass, but pretty much nudging them on Twitter, and eventually they got their way. And an aggro game is a, uh, I think the game they're playing on is called um, Going Under. Now, Going Under is an indie game, obviously from Aggro Crab, and it came out a while back. And now that it's gonna come to Game Pass, it's gonna bring new life to the title. I never even heard of this game. To tell you the truth, it's like a rogue-like uh, uh, game that takes place like in the office uh, setting, which is kind of cool, kind of unique. And um, now it's coming to Game Pass because the developer asked for it. So people, gamers, uh, developers, publishers want their games on Game Pass because it only exposes it to other people, new audiences, and brings life to the game, guys. So if you guys don't have Game Pass, really, there's no reason not to have it. Go get it. Developers want to be on there. Gamers want to be on there. Woo, it's like the new MySpace. And I'm going to leave you with my last story. And that is that everybody wins with Xbox. They really do. You don't believe me? Look at this review right here. This guy was having the worst time ever. But then he played Lawnmower uh, Simulator on Xbox. And his life changed for the better. And I quote, This game saved me. Before this game, I had no friends, no life, and my wife left me and was scheduling a divorce. I had nothing and no reason to live my life. Then I made the smart decision to install this masterpiece. Later that day, I caught my wife in the corner of my eye creaming her pants. All of the women in my street surrounded me and I was drowning in beep. Within seconds of installation, I could not stop pulling women. Thank you for changing my life, game developers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> See guys, this is all just fun and games. This guy, his life changed playing. I'm gonna go get that damn lawnmower simulator right now. And you can too. If you have Xbox Game Pass, your life can change for the better. All right, guys, that was a quick one. Um, like I said, there wasn't really <laughs> too much news out there that I want to talk about. But I just want to talk to you guys because it's been a while. I ain't got nothing to do. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. Remember, when shit hits the fan and you start hearing that <laughs> the place where they say eat fresh doesn't actually have fresh food. In their establishment whatsoever and you find out that the subway bread isn't even bread and the subway tuna isn't even tuna what do you do run <laughs>